Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy, and subscribe if you're new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. Specifically, was Post it? The office said they don't want you guys here, so they don't want you guys here, so you gotta get off property. That's. This video is brought to us by Auditing America. Be sure to subscribe to their channel and to show them support by checking out their videos. As always, the link to the channel will be down in the description. The video begins with a group of fellow auditors peacefully filming inside of a post office. The postal employees refused service and called the cops on the auditors which definitely confused me because they're being very peaceful. The original cop has no clue about the law, surprise, surprise, and then tells them that they need to leave. A sergeant arrives and actually does something to help the situation. North Kansas City. I don't have a copy of the rules. You can record anybody you want, but you better not post anybody of my employees. I am, I'm, I'm actually, why not? Why not? Because the employees aren't here for your camera work. No, I know that. They're here to work uh, and that's with what mail. Doing, but you're also holding up these people. I'm not. Look, they're right there. Take care of these people. Sir, and specifically. Nothing for another reason. How you doing, ma'am? What's going on? Can I have your name and batch number, please? Sure. It's Filger, F I L G E R, and then we don't have batch numbers. I think they're misinformed about the rules uh, recording in the post office. They just left and went to the back just because we were filming. There's a long line there. We'd like to conduct uh, business. Oh, we just got a call about some people here. Yeah. We're just working on a video. Uh, let's not block this. Yeah. We're just working on a video about the post office. We go around the country uh, checking up on our public employees. Okay. We just got a call about some people hanging out here recording. And then specifically, was the post it? office said they don't want you guys here, so... They don't want you guys here, so you gotta get off property. Actually, that's that's not how that works. Um, when we're conducting a constitutionally protected act, and and a, business, and, business okay. and you took an oath to protect our First Amendment, um, you cannot be trespassed unless you're committing a crime. And since we're engaged in not only a constitutionally protected act, but I'm also making a purchase of a stamp, you cannot trespass us. Unless we're breaking well, the law. Service, yeah, but this is not a private. They, they, so they can, they, ma'am, indeed, they can, they can do that anywhere else except public property this is we've we've challenged this at court many times it's been challenged at court many many times we have the right to be here it's on the wall we're not breaking the law we're not we're not being disorderly so we're just, just working on you guys saying they don't want to hear anymore correct so. but they don't have that privilege that's the that's the yes, thing they no they no they don't they don't own this is not private property so, ma'am so same thing as telling me that I can't be on the sidewalk. Yeah, you can go over there on the sidewalk. And I could go, go over so here this on the is not sidewalk. Public property? We could go You're in there on too. This is public property right now. This is public property, right? It's it is. It's post office property. Right and who now. owns the post office? It's public property. It says so right on poster seven right in there. Do you know what poster seven is? Okay, all I'm saying is. They don't want you here. Well, they don't, have, they, they don't have you that privilege. You go to the Constitution, yep. not to what the post You're office said. You don't go by what people feel. What's the Third Amendment? What is the Third Amendment? They don't want you here. What is the Third so Amendment? So all you have to do is, is just We have the right no, to be no, no, here. You can, but I just want to let you know, sir, that we do know our rights. Okay. And and we have the absolute right to be in there, conduct business while video recording. They don't have this uh, authority to tell us to leave public property, ma'am. So I encourage you to do the right thing or call your supervisor, okay, please. Okay, let me ask you right, right now. Okay. Name and batch number, please. It's uh, Sergeant Martin Ross, 55. Okay, Sergeant, look, we're working on a video in public property, okay? We have uh, the right to video record our transaction in there, whether they like it or not, un 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 unless, of course, we're breaking the law. If I'm being disorderly, if I'm uh, making threats, or if I'm uh, impeding the business, then you guys can have me trespass because I'm stopping the business. But we're not stopping the business. We just want to go in there, conduct our business with the post office that we have the, the right because this is a federal facility. The rules are on the wall. They don't know the law. This gentleman just admitted not to know what the Third Amendment is. She doesn't know it either. We, that's why we requested a supervisor because we know we know our rights. We do know. So. Change. There's another lady that's gonna come in there, and they said she may have to be the one to help you because the other one she doesn't want to. Oh, okay. So we're allowed to conduct. Okay. Business. So the other one she may help you. 
But if you go in, and like I said, stay calm. They'll, they'll go ahead and work, work with you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. I hope you remain safe in the field. And again, please read the Constitution. Actually, we're going to leave. And the reason we're going to leave is because we came back inside. We proved our point. We stuck up for the First Amendment. However, these people are refusing service. And for the benefit of the other people that are patiently waiting in line... Well done to the sergeant for correcting the officer's mistake. A correction was definitely in order to happen here. Although this did happen, and was good to see, it was also a shame to see when the employees refused them service still. I mean, they were literally being peaceful and causing no problems. No laws were broken, so there should be no issues. Maybe feelings were hurt and people felt uncomfortable, but under the law, that doesn't matter at all. I'm just glad that these cops didn't get in their way in the end, and the sergeant corrected their mistakes. What do you guys think about this situation? Three, three, six. Yes, three sir. threes and one six. Awesome. Yes, sir. Oh, nothing much. Just recording, man. Yeah, we're trying to figure out why you're recording. Oh, I've just been time. walking around documenting everything. This clip is brought to us by Prove All Things Audit. Make sure you guys go and check out their channel. Their link will be down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel and to watch their videos for more like this clip. The clip starts off with a man filming a festival at a church from a public sidewalk. The church security tries to intimidate the man, and they end up calling the cops on him because he's filming. The cops show up and understand that the man's on public property, so therefore he's allowed to record. Seems to be going well, until the cops can't help but ask him for something. Uh, the cutoff, who are you? Well, who are you? I'm you just clean my security right here. Okay. You're gonna have to leave the premises. Go ahead okay. and leave. That's right. fine, man. How are you? Pretty good. What you got going on? Oh, nothing. What's your name and badge number? Officer Simmons. My badge number is 3336. 3336? Three, 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 yes, three threes and one six. Awesome. Yes, sir. Oh, nothing much. Just recording, man. Yeah, we're trying to figure out why you're recording. Oh, I've just business. been walking around documenting everything. I just record stuff. Oh, okay. You got a podcast or something? Uh, I don't really do... Eh, not really. I mean, I don't do the podcast thing, man. I got you. you ain't got an idea. I can see real quick. Please. No, I wouldn't show you if I did. Okay, I got you. Why would I do that? Where's y'all's property in that? I'm assuming that's the public property. Right? It, it is. Well. It is. I'm like that. I'm yeah, Jeff comes out here with the attitude, I gotta leave, and he's telling me that he's armed security, and I told Jeff to kick rocks. Well, yeah, it is. I mean, I know y'all can do it. And just fun. for the record, I've been I've been nothing but friendly, nice. I haven't did, yelled at him. I've just been quiet, right? Mm -hmm. I get your, uh, your badge number. I see your name, Gatsway. Is that right? Gatsway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your badge number? AC2. AC2? Mm -hmm. So not all numbers. The letter A, numbers. Uh, letter C, letter A, letter C, and then two. Yep. Oh, cool. Same, diff different. Different. Yeah, that's probably why he was all numbers. Who, who would have the call number for this? Would you guys have it, or would the call number? Would he have it? The call number or incident number? There's not gonna be one of them. There, okay. There's not a radio call number or anything. Okay, so I just have to time, 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 date. Can you, at the end of this, can you ask for it and see if they have it? Because otherwise I would have to. You have no way in it? Come on. It's pretty obvious this is not a standard setup. You know, obviously doing something here with the media. It seems pretty apparent to me. I don't disclose that right now. Do you have any incident number or call number? Okay. Will you at the end of the call? Well, not a case number, I figure, but sometimes they have an incident number for FOIA purposes. Okay. The security guy came out and told me I had to leave, and he was kind of forceful with it. You know, just kind of rude. That ain't gonna fly, brother. You know what I mean? You don't have to. You don't have to be rude to me and, and me. I've done nothing to you. You know, just because you don't like that I'm recording. He doesn't have any idea what I could be doing with this. I could be the news, which I actually am, and I could be putting a story together about this city, which I actually am. Think about it. Could you do us a favor? Could we check your ID? No. That's a Fourth Amendment violation That's if I get my ID. I didn't, yeah. I'm just asking for. Yeah, I, there's no, there's no reason to. I haven't committed a crime. No, you don't have to. Let's yeah. Ask. Yeah. And then a couple people like him asked me about my camera. We had a nice little conversation about cameras. So, but you guys are excellent. I'm going to shake out of here. I didn't want to leave until you guys got here, since okay. he said he's going to call the police. 
but their their nightmare's over. I'll be going down the road. So. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. All right, guys. That's Talip. Talip. How do you say it? Talipo? Talipo? Talipo. Police. They did a good job. They tried to get my ID, which is par for the course. You can't really fault them. They didn't uh, try to force it or intimidate me. So I'll give them a, a pass on that part of it. Bye bye. They had to go and ruin it by asking for the man's ID. But to be fair, they didn't demand it, so they were just trying their luck to see if the man would hand it over easily. It's good to see that they knew that the man was on public property so he could record, and there was no issues over this. These security guards at the start were definitely weird for trying to intimidate the man, and when they ended up calling the cops because he was recording, I'm sure no one was surprised about this. Including that video. I right. don't have any credentials on, so I don't know who you are. I Listen, don't know who you work for. I, I, do you have credentials? Say that you do you know who issues those? This video is brought to us by Rights Crispy. Be sure to subscribe to their channel and to show them support by checking out their videos. As always, the link to the channel will be down in the description. The video begins with a man and a fellow auditor filming in a public building in Tuskegee. A Karen employee decides to call the cops on them. A deputy chief and detective show up. The deputy chief insists them having to have credentials. The men aren't having this and decide to educate them on it. Watch to see the men educate them both. Megan County. Gonna check out the municipal complex. Ben, I'm with Bang, both Action News Group. Okay. And you are? Derek Swanson. And what do you do here, Derek? Uh, city manager. Oh, wonderful. City manager. Yes, sir. We're looking for civil rights violations, so don't commit any. Good, good. I'm Finn. I'm with Bang, Bolt Action News Group. Bolt Action News? Yes, sir. Bang, Bolt Action News Group. I was just wondering if they called on us. I told them, did you call? And they didn't answer. I said, I don't want them chasing me around town or anything. I'm not fleeing and eluding. I mean, what you doing? What we're, we're investigating. Civil rights violations. Civil rights violations? Yes, sir. Some people try to stop our freedom of the press. And they don't let us see things that we should be allowed to see. What they are you try trying to, to see? Whatever we find that's wrong. I, I, As in what? I, did you request I don't want to tip my hat. No, sir. No, uh, Okay, with cameras blaring. flip the files over. Civil rights violations. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you find anything? No, not yet. So you're leaving. We were on the way out, and that's why I said, hey, if you were called on me, I wanted the call number, first of all. Who call number? If there was a call number generated. So that I, I can go to your records department and get all the records on it, including that video. We don't have any credentials on, so I don't know who you are. We Listen, don't know who you work for. I, I, do you have credentials? Say that. You do you know who issues those? I, I don't. Do you have credentials? Yes. Say who you work for? That's right. That's my credential. Who issues credentials? If you work for a company, that's right. You get credentials. What if I created the company myself? Okay, so you should have credentials then. And these are the credentials I issued myself. You should have an idea. Something to say you were. I do. Media I source. have one. Where is it? It's Not actually in the truck. I'm a free individual exercising my freedom of the press. You know, and what, what Deputy Chief was they explaining. Key cards in there. No. I'm sure you've been in there. Even okay. well, when there's a, a scene, a crime scene, or anything, or a big major event, right. freedom of the press, right? Yes, sir. The newspapers and people like that, they have something that says that. And I do. I do in the car. In the car. Right. So that's what he was asking, you know, just put something on. You know, I've, I've had different things. Sometimes I use the Joker card out of a deck of cards, and I just write Wright's Crispy on it. You know, <laughs> or I'll get a hotel room key yeah. and that looks like official and I'll put like a, a, a label maker so writes crispy on it because I'm the editor in chief. I issue the credentials. There's no state agency, but it's it's such a key thing to spread education among agencies and say, hey, look, if you guys see this, this is what's called the First Amendment audit. People are checking to see if the First and Fourth Amendment or we were at the prison if Eighth Amendment rights are being violated, you know. To be fair to the detective, he was cordial, but to say that they have to have credentials just isn't right, and therefore the man educating them about this was the correct thing to do. 
And yet again, we have a Karen employee who calls the cops on someone for recording and then decides to record them back themselves. What a great idea, Karen. This definitely makes you look very smart and not a complete hypocrite. These Karen employees really need to be educated on when they need to call the cops because they're wasting everyone's time, even their own time. How are you? Doing all right. What's going on? Just recording. These guys come out here and talk to you or something? They did. Okay. This clip is brought to us by Tulare County Cop Watch. Make sure you guys go and check out their channel. Their link will be down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel and to watch their videos for more like this clip. The clip starts off with a man filming the United States cold storage facility in Tulare from a public sidewalk. An employee confronts the man recording and then decides to call the cops. The cops show up and clearly know the man is not breaking the law and therefore they basically leave straight away but forget to do something quite important before doing so. It's Larry at the United States Cold Storage North Facility. Hi. Hello. Doing a story on this building. What? Just doing a story on your building. Oh, well, why? You find it interesting? I do. What kind of story? I don't ask. I don't answer personal questions. Did we do something? I, I'm human resource, so I was just wondering. Okay. That's fine. Have a nice day. Doing all right. What's going on? Just recording. These guys come out here and talk to you or something? They did. Okay. Any issues or problem with this guy? With these guys? No, no issues. I just. I don't know why they called the cops. Uh, they said something about you recording vehicle license plates and VIN numbers or something. I don't. Is that a crime? That's what they said. I don't know. No, I'm asking you. Is it a crime? Okay. No. It's not no. A crime. no not, well, we as far as I know. We gotta come on. Check you just, I mean, what? I don't know what cars are talking about. I don't see the cars out here on the street. So. I don't know. Are you talking about these vehicles here or something? Probably. Who, you know who you talk to? Who came out and talked to you? Some lady. Some lady. Okay. I mean, she didn't give a name or anything. She didn't give a name. Okay. Can you guys educate them and let them know that it's legal to record? Sure. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll let them know. I appreciate it. All right, Can I get your badge, and, your name and badge number, Officer? Thank you. And yours? Thank you. But you guys ain't gonna go in there and tell him? Okay. You guys are not gonna go over there to tell him? Yeah. She's available by phone. A call? I don't think they're gonna give him a call though. But maybe. Alright guys. That's how you do it. Couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> That's what happens. No law broken. I'm not sure that I would believe what the cops said here at the end. And I'm sure you guys would agree with me on this one. I'd rather see in person the cops doing something than hoping that they hold their word and eventually do it without you actually witnessing it in person. And that's exactly what they did when they said that they would educate them over the phone. I'm just not sure how much I can trust them here. It's quite impressive how quickly these cops left after they knew that the man had committed no crime. These employees really need to learn when they are meant to call the cops and when they aren't meant to. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.